it is the big story that is gripping the valley. This three year old found dead after his mother reported him missing tonight. Daniel Therio's father describing him as loving and compassionate. And this is our first look at his mother now facing charges in the murder of her own son. Metro arrested 20 year old Cassie Smith this morning. There is nothing accidental about this investigation. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live near Bonanza and Rancho with how police determined that the toddler was never missing. Yeah, Carla, neighbors tell us Smith was living here with her boyfriend and her two boys. It's less than a mile from Lorenzi Park, and that's what police say raised some of their early suspicions. She's, they say they couldn't figure out why she would take her son all the way across to Sunset Park to see the ducks when Lorenzi Park is within walking distance of their home and also has ducks. Police say they initially called in every resource available to search Sunset Park after Daniel Terrio's mother reported he had walked away from her around 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Detectives say Cassie Smith said they went to the park to see the ducks. But around 1 o'clock, they said things didn't add up when they realized the family lived within walking distance of Lorenzi Park, which also has ducks. When they went to the couple's home, they say they found Joshua Oxford watching Smith's two-year-old son and took that boy into protective custody later finding what they called signs of physical abuse. It wasn't until this morning they found Daniel's body in a remote area near Lake Mead. While police are withholding the disturbing details, they say both Smith and Oxford are being charged in his death. I will tell you it was absolutely disturbing on how the child uh, we believe was killed. Metro says there is a criminal history, but no local cases involving family services. Court records show Oxford had a bench warrant issued in October in connection with the theft case. He was arrested on that along with the child abuse charges against both Smith and Oxford. And I spoke to Daniel's father, James, over the phone. He lives in Texas and says he got the call early this morning about his son's death. As you can imagine, he is devastated. He says he hasn't been told of any previous abuse, but he's right now working to try and get here to Las Vegas in hopes of getting his younger son. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Thanks, Brian. Of course, a lot of people are expressing.